Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Bear Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do certainly appreciate it. Uh, guys, today's beer comes from Abita Brewing. These guys are down in Louisiana. Uh, this is their chocolate de Burge cake stout. Uh, 8% uh, 12 ounce bottle. Uh, this cost me $2.79 and like I said, it's an 8%er. So not too bad. Uh, brewed with cocoa nibs and vanilla. Fashion from a classic New Orleans dessert. A chocolate dough cake style is layered with sweet cocoa nibs, vanilla, and milk sugar to create a rich and decadent sweetness with velvety chocolate notes. So dessert type beer here guys. Uh, again final beer of the evening for me. Uh, definitely one want to drink a lager or a stout after having this. So that's, you know, but that's your choice. You can do whatever you choose. That's how I choose to do it. Work my way from the lighter color tasting beers to the heavier. So I'm going to have an 8 and a 7. I'll have the 7 before the 8 or if I'm having a uh, a 7 and an 11. I'll have the 7 before the 11. You get where I'm going here. Don't take a rocket side. Start with a lower ABV depending on how many you're going to drink. Uh, anyway, back to this one. Over to Untap. And they say 30 IBUs with this one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It says fashion from classic New Orleans dessert. Our chocolate de Burge pronounced dough bash. So that's how it's pronounced. It says it's D O B E R G E, but it's pronounced Do Bash. So B E R G E is Bash. Hmm, okay. Why don't you just write Bash? <laughs> uh, cake stout is layered with sweet cocoa nibs, vanilla, and milk sugar. And it has rich decadent sweetness, vanilla chocolate notes. No matter how you pronounce cake, it's one of the most appreciated and desired locally created desserts for any occasion. Okay. When I was in uh, Louisiana, how do you want to say it? Louisiana, uh, I, I, I sampled a bunch of their beers uh, while I was down there. So uh, they made some really tasty stuff at the time. That was a long time ago, though, guys. So uh, uh, almost a decade has passed since that happened. Anyway, getting back to the beer, we've got the IBUs at 30, ABV at 8. Uh, don't think it's going to give us any kind of dating that I can see on it, guys. I don't see anything stamped on the label or anything, so that's where we're guessing. Unless something is printed on the bottle and it is sweating, as you can see, uh, I don't think we're going to we're going to know that. And being an eight percenter, unless it's been brewed with some kind of coffee no, uh, or anything that's going to deteriorate over time, it probably not. It's probably going to be okay. So, without any more talking, let's get to part. Two glass for go. Uh, doesn't look like it. It's not pitch black. It's not motor oil black, guys. So it's only a 12 ounce or so. Be a quick review. It won't take me long to sip on this and finish it off at 12 ounces. So. All right. It looks pretty good. I mean, tight bubbles on the side here. It's not super dark. I mean, khaki colored, not not super dark brown. Uh, to me, guys, if I was just throwing this off the top of the hat, I would say this is a transitional dessert stout. 
So, I, I mean, I, I don't expect it to get in even into the A category. I hope it surprises me. Uh, but I'm thinking this is probably going to be a B or B plus beer, guys. So, uh, I don't know if they even have any beers. I haven't gone back and looked. But I hate to mealy mouth any brewery or anything. But uh, I've just not been overwhelmed by anything that I've sampled or reviewed from these guys. Tasty, decent, yes. World class, not so much. All right. With that rambling, uh, it's pretty dark in the glass, guys. A little bit of red ribbiness around the very thin part down there. But it's, it's dark, but it's not Motorola dark. Anyway, still a good looking beer. To the nose we go. Does it taste like, does it smell like or taste like brownie? Yes, it does smell like brownie. I am impressed. That does. That smells exactly like a chocolate brownie. That smells awesome, guys. I mean, absolutely. A, a appearance, maybe a nine and a half or a stout, a pastry stout, not quite super dark. I would say nine on the appearance. Aroma, I would say ten on the, on that. I mean, it's chocolate cake stout. That's what it smells like. It smells like chocolate cake. Brownies, cake. It's time. Let's dive in. Cheers. A lighter, uh, maybe a chocolate cake stout light. Even though it's 8%, the mouthfeel is not quite there. It's a little thin on the mouthfeel. But I am getting the chocolate cake, but again. That is a that is a fairly well made stout. Eight percent, not super heavy, not super light. Mouthfeel is a little thin. I mean I'll, I'll say medium, not not full. It's got a medium mouthfeel, so it's a little thin for, to me or for what I like. Of course, I'm used to, if I'm having something, you know, it's usually 8 to 11 percent anyway, as far as this style of beer anyway, because I don't buy anything under 7 percent. So, uh, it's, it's tasty. It's exactly what they say it is. Like I said, uh, I think it's worthy of picking up and giving it a try, especially if you're not used to drinking heavy, thick motor oil stouts all the time. So, I think it's uh, decently done. So, let's go sip on it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here uh, again. Uh, looked at the bottle I got back, and it does have a dark ink on a dark brown bottle with dark beer in it. How the hell are you supposed to see that with a beer in it? Uh, you can't. It's just it's impossible, guys. Uh, and even now, it's really hard. It says 22094. So, and then it has a time stamp underneath of it. Uh, so, uh, if I was a guessing man, I would say. 2-2 two two is a year and 094 is a day, the 94th day of 2022. So you can do the math yourself there, guys. I, that would be my guess when this was put in the bottle. So uh, again, tasty beer, not world class. I don't even think it's into the A category. You may disagree with that. Uh, it's all personal preference on this. You may buy this and think it's the best thing you ever tasted. So at least buy one. At least buy one and try it. And if you like it, buy more. Yeah. Hot tip. Final chug. It smells awesome. It really does. The aroma is just outstanding. I mean, if I was basing it on the aroma, I mean, it's, it's a 9 out of 10 on the aroma. Oh, yeah. Couldn't do it. Didn't have the jaws for it. That's a decent beer, guys. It is. I mean, 8%, well done. And they're in Louisiana, and I'm getting them here in Virginia. Big footprint. Uh, so, guys, uh, it's worth trying. You may really, really like this. It's not overpowering like an 11 or 12 or bigger beer is going to be. Uh, pleasantly delicious. Again, B-plus for me on this one, guys. Uh, 88. 
over to Beer Advocate, they say 89. Pretty close there, and untapped has it at 3.98, B plus again. So I'm at the lower end of that scale. The other two are above that, but again, it's all subjective. You may absolutely think this is world class. So at least if you can and you like the style, pick at least one of them up, give it a try. I mean, it's not an expensive beer to buy, so I mean, give it a whirl. And if you've had it, let me know what you think. Uh, it was tasty. A good final beer of the evening for me. So, till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.